goodness. <laughs> This week we're fishing out of one of my favorite places, the Plantation on Crystal River. We're fishing in shallow water and we're casting plugs to gag grouper. So we're fishing out of this area, it's mid-December. Grouper season is closed, it's gonna be all catch and release, which is fine, you know, I'm just here for the experience of catching them. The great thing about the Plantation it has its own boat ramp. Um, we launched the Triton first thing in the morning and our plan was to head out, hit a couple of these spots and try to catch these grouper on casting plugs. Clay's a young guy, you know, early 20s, aggressive. You know, you can just tell that this guy is full of energy. He's got this area dialed in. He grew up in this area, and um, it afforded him the ability just to kind of get out there, probably like most kids, you know, just out there and discover new ground, new bottom, and that's really important, especially talking to him about this kind of area. It's just getting out, finding the structure that these fish are holding on. Man, what a pretty morning. Plantation, Crystal River, probably one of my favorite places to come. We've been here a bunch of times. Clay, what do you think you got going for us this morning? Well, uh, this morning we're gonna go out and try to target the shallow water grouper. We're gonna fish strictly artificials. We may show them with a little bit of bait, but we're gonna try to get all of them on plugs, both divers and uh, some subsurface and top water plugs. It's gonna be a good day, six to eight foot of water, and uh, it's, it's a lot of fun once you get them rolling. Man, I tell you what, I've been here grouper fishing, a little deeper stuff, never had them in that shallow water. I'm excited. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Everything works out like it should. Uh, you're gonna see some pretty interesting grouper fishing today. We're gonna throw them in Missouri's at them, get it? Yeah, we're gonna throw them. All right, let's go. Crystal River, I gotta be honest, the, the bottom is not forgiving. And it's known to be a graveyard for many lower units. So if you stay in the channels, if you take your time, it's not a problem. You know, for miles and miles and miles, it's just a slow, gradual fall in the depth of water out into the Gulf of Mexico. And there's just, you know, miles of habitat for these groupers to spawn um, and, and for these groupers just to, you know, find areas to hold on. And that's what's so unique about what we're doing with Clay today. He's fishing these shallow rock piles. He's you know, using the troll motor, stopping on these spots, and casting plugs to these fish. It's something I've never done before. And when I'm saying shallow, we're talking about five, 10 feet of water. You can see these fish apparently come up and strike at the plugs. The forecast is for the wind to pick up this afternoon. There's a front coming in. And really, the looking at it, conditions are perfect for what we want to do. We got some south winds right now. Seas are going to be calm. Um, and we're hopeful to have a good day. This is a spot, I mean, it's crystal clear. I can see the bottom. There's a grouper around here? There's a couple of them, hopefully. We're in about uh, five feet of water. So we're gonna start, and uh, this looks like the scalloping grounds. It's right there. God, insane. Grouper out of this kind of water. You're new to me. I'm pretty much shocked. I have some experience here, and I remember fishing this general area, or not even fishing, spending some time in this general area scalloping. And we're talking, you know, waist, head high, deep water. We stop in the same area, and this is where Clay's saying that the gripper are gonna be. Well, I gotta tell you, I made the first cast, I'm reeling in, and I get a bump. And I'm thinking, no, there's no way, not first cast, maybe I bump bottom, whatever. I wasn't, I didn't know what to expect, to be honest. Um, and before I could get a second cast fired off, I look over, Clay is hooked up. Fish on! Got him? Good! Come on! That didn't take long. I got bit too, the first cast. You're kidding me. Nope. Power pulled down, sitting out here in the Gulf. You just keep casting until you hook up for me, buddy. Oh, yeah. Good one. 28, 29 inch fish. Nice. Solid fish. Second cast. Second cast of the morning. Why run 100 miles, 50 miles, 20 miles off the shore? Oh. Oh. Walk backwards and drag him out, buddy. Oh, goodness. What a bite. It is the best strike in shallow water fishing. Oh, you got a baby. That's oh, cheating. Oh, I did get a baby, didn't I? Compared to yours. Well, there you go. That's how you catch a 12 pounder, second cast. And, and a, this is uh, how you catch its baby. 14 incher. <laughs> I mean, this is insane. We literally had the power pole down and we're grouper fishing in the Gulf. That's what we do. 
Oh, that's the amazing thing about this area. From five feet of water, starting off the day. That fish right there will go 30 inches. Season's closed right now. We're gonna get these back in the water. Obviously a keeper fish. Obviously, great keeper fish, whether you're in five feet or 55 feet. What would the limit be uh, when season's open? The limit is two per person, 22 inch minimum size, which that fish is gonna go right about 30. And uh, the funny thing is they have a blue tail just like redfish. These fish are eating shrimp just like your redfish and trout would. They're so close to shore. Sucked down that Yozuri. Sucked it down. Woo! There you go, just like that. Oh, I found a new, my favorite type of fishing now. Wow. Real Time Florida Sportsman is brought to you by Wiley X. Absolute premium protection. So our plan is just to use the trolling motor to hold us around these rock piles. They're just almost like a coral head in the Keys or in the Bahamas. Just a rock pretty much out, you know, surrounded by grass. And these are areas that these grouper are just sitting on. Today we're just gonna use some Yozuri Crystal Magnum minnows. And, and these things, at a steady retrieve, we're gonna probably dive down about five, eight feet of water, and this is perfect for this area. Uh, talking to Clay, he says you just wanna throw it out there, pass the rock pile, and just rip it back in. You want a quick retrieve, enough for that thing just to you know stay down and dive, and when they strike it, I'm gonna tell you, it about ripped the rod out of your hand. This is Snook Tackle right here, man. This is 50-pound braid, spider wire stealth, 50-pound, 80-pound fluorocarbon, and just ripping these lip Yozuris. Magnum minnows, man. Got him. Got him. <laughs> oh, turn, baby, turn. Oh, my God. You're right. You get them fired up, oh, right? You get them going, and it's, uh, it's a whole lot of fun. Just don't reel too fast to where the plug washes out. You just want it to be swimming as fast as it can swim while still diving. Got him, baby. Oh, they're following mine in the boat. Oh. Oh. I <laughs> spin the boat around, almost hit the camera boat. Not expecting this. Cast again, right after releasing those two. And look at this, it's doubled up again. Doubled up. Insane, insane bite. You ripped that Yozuri over him. Like you said, you want to reel it as fast as you can to keep the plug swimming true. And they just are chasing right after it, man. There's a whole pack of them, like a wolf. That's the truth. That's a keeper fish, right? Yeah, these both are. This would be about a 22, which is just a barely legal fish. That one's 24, 25. Couple nice fish. There's not much reviving with these bad boys. They're, they're pretty angry. These fish are incredible. I mean, I've caught grouper before, but in five, 10 feet of water, you're casting a spinning rod. Now this is tackle that I'm normally snook fishing with, and I'm using it to catch, you know, 20, 30 inch grouper. When you hook one of those fish, the power that you feel from that broom tail of that gag grouper is indescribable. There's another one. That's a good one. Dude, he's going home. Easy on him, easy on him. He's, he's right, right here. there. Right he there. literally ate it right by the boat. He's going to freak out here in a second. Go under the boat like this. That's the celebration. Hold the rod oh, perpendicular. I just got followed all the way up, buddy. It's hard to explain, but when you're catching, you know, you can go out and. The, the Gulf is known for its grouper fishery. It's just, it's the place to be to catch grouper. But when you can do something like this where you catch them in such shallow water, look at that. Wow. Just chunking plugs, right? Chunking plugs. Just that easy, isn't it? Yeah, there's definitely no reason to vent these fish. Not here. You drop them, they're right back in their hole. There's so many different ways to target these fish in the Gulf of Mexico. You know, most of the exposure that I've had is in deeper water. You're dropping a live bait, cut bait on the bottom. Um, also, which is real popular, which we've done this place before, is trolling plugs over bottom. But this is new to me. This is casting plugs, stationary casting plugs to structure for gag grouper is something I never even heard of before. It's very similar like you hear about these people that go to Costa Rica and are catching dog tooth snapper on rock piles or rooster fish on these rock piles. It, that's kind of what I you know, kind of like it to. So you discovered all these spots. I guess you grew up here. Born and raised, George. Lived here my entire life. Went to Christ River High School and I know, I've been fishing out here since I was 14. My dad le started letting me take his little skiff out. Oh yeah, right in the, the boat. boat! Oh yeah! Oh, oh no! 
God almighty, that was a that, Did you see the flash? Oh, yeah. That's not uncommon, George. He ate it right here. I all of a sudden I just saw a belly of a group of roll on this plug right next to the boat. Did, now, did he follow it out of that ledge, do you think? Or yep. was he sitting here? He followed no, it up? They'll, they'll follow him, and all of a sudden they just make that decision that they want it. Oh, you can't even, you can't even get some, you know, some nice talk in. Oh, the nice conversation. These fish are interrupting everything. And this is this is it right here. You know, bright colors, natural colors, crystal 3D, magnum minnow. Look at that. That's it. Insane. You come out here, come out with a handful of these, you're gonna you're gonna have a day full of solid action. Real time Florida Sportsman is brought to you by Eagle Claw Trocar, the sharpest fish hooks in the world. I mean, as tempting as it is to want to break out a smaller rod and, and you know, get the longer cast, get a little bit more feel with the rod, you need the tackle to stop these fish. You need 50 pound braided line to stop these fish. You need a drag that's sufficient enough to keep these fish from going back into the ledges that they came from. You got one? Oh yeah. I think I was off the spot. I didn't get bit. What? I did not get bit. I bet he's 13. Oh, that's a solid fish right there. Dude. Oh, there you go. Go. Oh, stop him, George. Stop him. Stop him, George. George, stop him. I mean it. George, stop ah. him. Dude, that is the man. Dang it. I had a stud. All right, well. God. That's a pretty good one, bud. Solid. I broke off right when you're fighting that one. Tell you oh. what, they're a lot of fun. Hard to stop them, man. Oh, it is. You guys already plugged buried up in his mouth like that. It's uh, that's why we're here. Fish like this. Insane. Shallow water grouper, west coast out of Crystal River. Oh, you dream of days like this. All right, George, this is my third cast and I haven't gotten a bite. <laughs> that's it, that's so, what you uh, know. Yeah, that's what, what, you, what know, do you think we're gonna try another one, buddy? Three casts, you don't get bit, it's time to move. I mean, you know, I can't be upset. We got we got seven keepers off the first spot and <sighs> two fish that were pretty dang nice. One over 10 pounds, so. That first one was a stud. Can't complain. Hook up the Azuris and roll on to the next one. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, on the trout rod. On the trout rod. <laughs> you know I just had to do it. It was sitting there already rigged up. <laughs> I think that might almost be a keeper too. Oh, it is a keeper. <laughs> Look at that. Smaller plug. They'll still eat it. That's fun. There you go, 22 inch fish. Light tackle. It hardly gets better, doesn't it? Make a quick morning out here with these fish. Yeah. Be right on the lower end of keeper. Yeah, probably 23, truthfully. Fun little fish. Pretty. Pretty, pretty fit. And there he goes. There he went. Nice job. Good job, brother. Thanks. This is our first spot of the morning. I mean, 15, 20 minutes into it, we have enough fish for a television show. I mean, what do you do? That's insane. You got more spots like that? Well, we got about 600 spots out here oh. that, that I've found like that. And uh, let's just go till my arms can't take anymore. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Two or three more spots like that, and I, I think your shoulders would be done. Dude, I got two fingers bandaged already. There we go. Let's do it. He's got more spots. We're thinking to ourselves, how do we make this any different? What else can we do? Ding, light bulb goes off. Top water plug. Who's caught a grouper on a top water plug? That was crazy. Oh, he's right underneath it, he's right underneath it. Oh, dude, when we start throwing divers here in a second, it's going to get out of control, I promise you. Oh, God, look at him all oh on it. Oh, my God. Look at him all on it. Are you kidding me? Seriously. Grouper on a topwater plug. They just hammered this Yozuri. Oh, how cool is that? That is insane. There was three of them on it too. Just annihilated it. I was walking the dog across the top and boom. It's oh, a nice fish, George. Yeah, this is a solid one. And there was more with them. Oh yeah. 
Never. I thought you'd catch, come out here and catch them on top water plugs. <laughs> there you go. On the top water. That's what I wanted. I asked you, I said, you think we can get them on plugs, top water plugs? Look at that, Yozuri. Doing the job. Look at that. Whew. Pretty. Like you said, they're really, in this water, they got great markings. The green eyes, blue tail. I want to talk today about, you know, knowing the depth of water that you're fishing, the water column that you're fishing. Um, you know, albeit you're fishing the surface or deep down on the bottom, you need to know what the target is, where that fish is primarily feeding at. Grouper could be in as deep as, you know, several hundred feet of water, but also as we found today, as shallow as five feet of water. Today we're using the Crystal Minimum Magnum. This exact one right here is what I was using. Now this is, you know, a smaller lip plug. It's going to dive down, you know, three, five, eight feet of water, depending on your rate of retrieve. And this was perfect for the depth of water and the water column that the group were feeding in. Um, I also used a smaller plug with a lighter tackle, but you know, subsurface getting down a couple feet of water. There's situations though, deep, deeper bodies of water where we're trolling plugs. You know, a plug like this is going to dive down 25 feet of water. So you really, the most important thing to know is what's the water column that you're fishing in, where are those fish at, you know, and matching your hard bait to the fish that you're looking for. Real Time Florida Sportsman is brought to you by Yozuri. Fish the best. What's so unique about this area is the bottom. You know, so many places in Florida you go, there's sandbars and, and, and mud flats and oyster beds. This area is just rocky. I, I not any other way to explain it, it's just limestone everywhere you look. And this is a great area for fish to hide. It, what makes it such a great place to fish. Oh my god! Ah! Oh the popper! It's a big one too, a real big one. Yeah, it's a you, better, you better throw it. I just, I just got mine. I reeled it real, real fast. I threw it right over that rock right there. This is a real, this is a good fish. On a popper. On a popper. Throwing the tuna popper. Oh my god, that is a solid fish. Oh man. Now George, when you get these things under the boat and they start bulldogging like this, it's key to just be easy on them. He ain't getting back to the rock. There's no reason to pull the hooks right here. You're right, you got him out. There you go. Look at that. On the Yozuri Hydro Popper sitting in shallow water. And there was more with them. There was a pile of them. Yep. That's about a 16 pound fish right there. You dream of this. Catching this kind of fish deep down is, is one thing, you know, when you're out meat, but to get them on a top water, on a popper, to watch them hit it. And people think this is impossible. It's possible. It's it possible sure today. Let's let this one get back in there. Wait for season to open up, huh? That's a big one. <laughs> Somebody's gonna come catch him next year. There, there he goes. goes. Back down to the hole. There's so many different ways to target these groupers. Is this what you do mainly? I mean, the diving plugs, stuff like this, or you ever live bait them or dead bait them? You know, there is a lot of ways to catch these fish, George. And, and throughout the season, starting in July, we kind of have to employ a lot of different tactics as the, as the season progresses. We normally start off throwing live bait in the summer, and as it gets into the fall, we switch over to the diving plugs as the fish get more aggressive with the cooler temperatures. You know, this year in November, we started throwing plugs, and uh, we just had a, had a great bite on the plugs. And as you see today, I mean, there's, there's no reason to bring bait out here. Once they make the switch over to hitting lures, we're pretty much done with bait for the year. Right on top of that rock. He ate it. Little guy. Little guy. Dark. What do you say, man? Hey, what a morning, dude. I just say we call it. God, 1230. The wind's starting to blow. There's a front coming. Had a little weather window. We're able to get out here, but a couple miles offshore, it's already getting a little choppy. Call it. Head back into the plantation. Sounds good, buddy. What an awesome day. 20 keepers by 1230. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks so much, brother. I'll never forget this day. Early afternoon, wind's picking up as forecasted. We are worn out. My elbow's killing me, my hands are torn up. We've caught more fish than we can count. I mean, plenty more than we need. It, and it's just amazing. We decide, you know what? Let's just call it a day. Let's just head back to the plantation.
The plantation is one of those places that I always look forward to coming back to. Super boater friendly. They have a boat ramp. They have a dive shop. You know, a, a tiki bar, pool, you know, a golf course for those that don't even fish. But very boater friendly. You can tie the boat up out back behind your room. And really, this is a great destination. Uh, albeit fishing, scalloping, you know, swimming with the manatees, the natural springs. There's so many different things to do here. I saw Clay Shidler's post on Facebook that he was catching these grouper in shallow water, and I was intrigued, I gotta tell you. I'm so glad that I made the choice to come over to this area and experience this type of grouper fishing. Been to the Gulf many times, targeting grouper, nothing ever like this. It's a trip that I'll never forget. You know it's good when the camera, camera, cameraman's catching them. That was a good shot. <laughs> good.